Good morning ghouls and all you other spooky friends out there. Welcome to another ESO video. You may have come across various delves and dungeons whilst out adventuring, but may not know exactly how each of them differ or whether your character is ready to brave what's behind these doors. So today we'll go over how each of these differ and why you'll be ready to tackle any delve or dungeon in no time. Delves will be the most common type of dungeon you come across as each area usually has multiple. Delves are accessible by all players and you can go in solo or as a group. Each delve will have at least one boss, a sky shard, its own set of achievements and its own quests to complete. Just make sure to keep an eye out for those quest markers. They are sometimes easy to miss, as quite often they are found just outside of the delve. Delves are great for beginners, as they are relatively easy to solo. You may even come across other players to fight alongside whilst exploring, as delves are non-instanced. Public dungeons are similar to delves, but are much more difficult. They are recommended for groups, but you will also come across other players to fight alongside, as just like delves, they are non-instanced. Public dungeons have multiple bosses as well as group event bosses. Group event bosses are more difficult than your regular dungeon boss and will reward you with a skill point the first time you defeat it. Just like Delves, each public dungeon has a sky shard, its own set of achievements and its own quests to complete. Public dungeon bosses are much tougher than those you might find in Delves, so for beginners it is recommended that you have a friend or two with you, otherwise it might take a while to complete. Group dungeons are what you unlock at level 10. They are designed for four players, two DPS, one tank, and one healer. You won't run into random players whilst completing these dungeons, as they are instanced. You will need to use the dungeon finder, where you will be paired with other players based on the role you choose. You can queue for a dungeon on your own or with a pre-made group of four players or less. Whilst queuing for a dungeon, you can carry on playing the game as you were. Then when a group has been found, you will get a pop-up to accept the dungeon and you'll be ported straight in. You can also port into these dungeons yourself by clicking on its relevant map marker. However, this will put you in the dungeon on your own and will not search for other players. Your friends can join you though if they travel to you. You unlock more dungeons as you level up your character, and once you reach level 50, you will unlock access to veteran versions of the same dungeons. These are much harder versions of the dungeons, and even have extra hard mode options if you like more of a challenge. Some dungeons are only accessible if you have ESO Plus or have purchased the relevant DLC. Dungeons each have their own story and multiple bosses throughout. These bosses are much tougher than delves and public dungeons, and often have more advanced mechanics that you need to learn to defeat them. So, probably not something you should be soloing when just starting out. And that's all there is to them. Delves are a great place to start out for beginners, and you can easily start hopping into dungeons once you unlock them at level 10. Public dungeons may be a bit harder to jump into when first starting out, but there's always people running around that might be willing to help. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!